Today we're going to be making Thor's magnetic hammer. power drill, a saw, some scrap wood, three paints, a pipe cutter, curtain rod, rubber o-rings, a dremel tool, three quarter inch pipe flange, 12 inch three quarter inch threaded pipes, half inch male to three quarter inch female pipe fitting, and a half inch pipe cap. You're also going to need a mag switch, which is basically a magnet you can turn on and off. There are 400 and 600 pound versions which you can get here on Amazon. Just click the link in my description to go take you there. First thing you want to do is make a carriage to hold the magnet. So this is the carriage. Now we're going to have the magnet handle right here. And then the magnet itself, since it has screws in its sides, should sit like this. So as you can see here, I've mounted the mag switch inside the carriage using the M5 screw holes that are already on the mag switch. I'm a little concerned about how close the screws are to the top of the wood, but I think with the reinforcement of the cover, it should be fine. Once you've finished mounting the mag switch into the carriage, you need to cut a PVC pipe about an inch and a half to two inches large and need to make cutouts on the sides just like I've shown here. This piece will become what eventually allows you to turn the mag switch handle with the handle of the hammer. So I've gone ahead and cut out the piece we need. As you can see, I've drilled a hole through the base so that we can grip onto it with a shower curtain rod, which we'll get to later. So here I have this carriage assembled completely. I've drilled a hole through, slightly larger than the 3 quarter inch PVC pipe to allow it to sink in and grip onto the mag switch handle. I also used another screw to secure the PVC pipe piece onto the mag switch handle so that it wouldn't move. I then screwed on a 3 quarter inch pipe flange so the handle has something to screw into. Moving on to the mechanism, this piece grips onto the screw that we earlier drilled into the PVC pipe. So I realized, after I screwed this in, that this is not level. I should have spent a little more time making sure this frame worked. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to unscrew this and then just add a little spacer um, just to make it level. And that should uh, fix it. I think this should be fine. Alright, let's do that. Now make the same cutouts on the shower curtain rod before you put it in the handle. This will allow the shower curtain rod to grip onto the screw that we placed in the PVC pipe earlier. Make sure that your mechanism works by testing it like I'm doing here. Now for the assembly. So I went ahead and wrapped my handle with the grip tape and the rubber o-rings. Now we're going to screw this in. Make sure to leave them some clearance so that when you put on your hammer head, it can form. To complete the mechanism, you need to take your half inch end cap and drill a hole through it while having the shower curtain at the very end. Be careful not to cut through the 3 quarter inch fitting because if you do, you won't be able to turn the half inch cap and the pipe like so. To focus. Right. So once that's screwed in, you're going to want to take this piece, slide it in, make sure it catches on that screw. It's tight. All right, now you can screw this down. All right, there you have it. To make it work now is the little key. So what I'm using is 
little Allen key that slots in like this. And boom, it's locked in. So for the hammerhead, I 3D printed it on my Ender 3, and then I spray painted everything with a coat of primer and two coats of silver spray paint. I'll link the files to the hammerhead below, but if you don't have a 3D printer, foam or cardboard will work just fine to make a hammerhead from scratch. So while that dries, you can relax. Now here I'm just playing with my roommate's dog, Wally. Let's see if he's worthy. No. He doesn't like it. Okay. <laughs> so now that we've spray painted everything silver, uh, before we do a clear coat, I want to weather this a little bit. So what I have here is some watered down ink. Another way to do this is to use some shoe polish, but I didn't have any of that, so I just made do with some ink. I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to let it sit in these crevices. All right, now that we've got our hammerhead, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, give this whole thing a clear coat, seal it in. Um, then we'll go ahead and attach to the hammer and we'll do a test. All right. So I came across a couple of problems. First of which, uh, when I printed the, um, the hammerhead, I didn't realize a TPU was going to be so difficult to weather with ink. Um, so I ended up just spraying some spray paint into a cloth and weathering it that way and that worked out fine. Now that we've added the top coat, we can go ahead and put it together. Inside this piece, like so. Let's uh, glue this together. I ended up screwing these in, and for the other pegs that hold the rest of it together, I just use a little bit of Loctite. So, I probably could have filled in this seam better, but uh, I decided not to because uh, I might want to open it up and maybe adjust the mechanism so I can put the uh, unlocking part down here, or maybe somewhere on the hammerhead, who knows. But yeah, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, go follow my Patreon if you want to support me there. Alright, see you next time.